I'm Corey. And I'm Tammy. And we're living, living in Diz. Diz. We are here at Nico's Pier 38, located in Honolulu, right next to Pearl Harbor. Are you ready for a food review for a restaurant off the beaten path? Let's go. Amy ordered the Pier 38 Punch, which includes fruit juices, dragon fruit, coconut, and mango rums finished with a delicious Zaya aged rum float. It was really good. If you were in Nebraska, I don't know if I'd eat it. So I tried the fish bites described on the menu as their famous fish bites recipe served with lomi tomato and sriracha aioli. Really, really good. Little fishy. I'm not big on fishy fishy, so it was just fishy. Uh, and, and just fishy enough. And it was very, very good. I would get that again. The Woodersons ordered fried calamari, served golden and crispy with house-made cocktail sauce. Calamari was so delicious and so full of flavor, and that was my first time having it. So I really, really like it. Mr. Wooderson, <laughs> what'd you think? <laughs> He's loving it. So I thought the fish bites were pretty good. I think that there was nothing wrong with it. All the flavors together um, were fine. Nothing was bad. I thought it was pretty good. I'd recommend it. I just want to talk about this juice. It's even better when you include these juices along with this mixed tomato and everything. Gives it so, so much more flavor. And I just wanted to add that the fish is a little bit more dense if you're used to something like Atlantic cod. Mr. Wooderson ordered the furutake, pan-seared ahi. That's described as fresh tuna ahi steak coated with Japanese dried seaweed and sesame seeds, then cooked to order from rare to well done, served with their famous ginger garlic cilantro dip. I thought it was excellent. The tuna itself was excellent ahi. Um, gotta do it rare, anytime you're doing something like that and I felt like it was perfectly seared. I felt like the interior of the tuna was exceptional, especially like on the interior of the meat itself because the exterior was like on the edges, it was a little bit over overcooked beyond rare, but otherwise it was very, very great. I had the green beans and carrots with it, and I was a little bit disappointed with the carrots. They felt a little bit tough. I would have liked them to be a little bit um, soft, but otherwise, it was a fantastic meal. I really like the crust on the fish as well. That was probably the highlight for me. I would say overall, I'm not gonna do Mickey's. I'm gonna do Moana's. And I'm gonna say four out of five Moana's. Jacob enjoyed the margarita pizza. Classic pomodoro, tomato, basil sauce, mozzarella, basil, pizza, topped with fresh arugula. So, there is. So I thought that um, the pizza was pretty good. The, the cheese was pretty uh, solid, I guess you would say. <coughs> the crust was very good. It was cooked to a uh, ex perfect extent. The tomato and like everything else made it a little sweet, I guess you could say. But overall, um, I thought it was pretty good.
I give that solid three and a half. Ted ordered the Pier 38 cheeseburger. It's described as our famous double burger with lettuce, tomato, red onion, house dressing, and cheddar sauce. Comes with your choice of garlic salted french fries or a spring salad mix. What'd you think, Ted? Uh, very messy, but very everything. Flavored right, tender, crisp lettuce, spot on. Five out of five, Mickey. Oh yeah, easy. Tammy ordered the pepperoni Pomodoro <laughs> pizza with basil sauce and mozzarella cheese. It was good, just not the best pizza, of course, that I've had. The cheese was different on it though. The cheese was like really thick and you didn't really have to chew it. You just kind of like melt it in your mouth. Um, I don't think the pizza was too greasy. Maybe that makes the pizza better, the grease. But overall, it was okay. Three and a half Mickey's out of five. Amy and I ordered the fish and chips, described as fresh fish beer battered and served with garlic salted french fries <coughs> and our famous ginger garlic cilantro dip. What'd you think? It was very tasty and I enjoyed the swordfish because it was a swordfish. How many you like the swordfish? Out of five? I'm gonna say four. I will agree with everything that Amy said about the fish and chips. It had a, more of a thickness to it, but it was really good. It wasn't fishy, like I said. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of that, and the waiter assured me of that, and I really did enjoy that. The fries were fine. Um, I thought the Jillian's fries were cooked a little bit uh, less than mine, which was better. Mine were a little bit overcooked to my liking, but overall the fries were really good. I would give that meal a solid, I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of five Mickeys only because I'm used to Atlantic Cod and I would prefer that over the swordfish. But glad I got to try swordfish because I never have. Yeah, or the hat egg, so very, very good. Brittany had the fried crab cake, which is described as served on a brioche bun with a spicy basil jardinet spread, tomatoes and arugula. Uh, comes with your choice of garlic salt french fries or spring mix salad, what'd you think? It was fantastic. The crab cake was very like meaty, not a lot of filling, a lot of good like lump crab meat. Um, that spread on it was absolutely fantastic. And the garlic fries were really, really good. All, all good, all around, very fresh. Mickey's out of Mickey's, five? Six. Ooh, <laughs> very, very good. And I'm picky about crab cakes. Our fries are quite different because I ordered the truffle fries, which are fried in truffle oil, therefore making them a bit crispy and very light. It is very delicious. I'm Corey. And I'm Tammy. And we're, oh, that's too far. That's too <laughs> Gotta be out here. <laughs> Alright, that's better. We'll go from here. Because we always go. We used to always do that, right? I'm Corey. And I'm Tammy. And we're living in. Hi. <laughs> You're supposed to say that with me. Oh, I am? Yes. Oh. This is going to take a while. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Ted. Vlogging. You've never seen us do this before. Look at Ted. Look at, Look at Ted. He's like, what are they doing? <laughs> We're doing the intro to the video. This is what we do. If you used to watch us, we start high and we come down to us. I'm Corey. And I'm Tammy. And we're living, living in Diz. Diz. We are here at Nico's Pier 38, located right near Honolulu in Pearl Harbor. Maybe we're in Pearl Harbor. Maybe we're in Honolulu. Let's do that again. Are we in Honolulu? Can we clarify? Are we in Honolulu? Where should I say we are? Like in Honolulu or in Honolulu near Pearl Harbor?
Everything was so good at Nico's that we even forgot to do a closeout of this video. All I can say to sum it up is we all absolutely loved everything that we tried and we totally recommend it. It's an off the beaten path type of restaurant and you want to include it on your next Hawaii trip. So for Jacob, Jilly, and Tammy, I'm Corey for Living at Diz and we'll see you in the podcast.